I pick you. Here we go. Okay. Beating yourself up. Girl, what the no. Stabbing. Putting on makeup. Yes. Okay. We got kidnapping. No. Filing for divorce. Really? Girl, I don't know. Pushing a shopping cart. Yes. Okay. Ooh, and they're connected. Is it a store? Like Sephora? Oh, okay. New word. Wow. Oh, this is yourself. <laughs> Children. Yeah. Sephora chill, chill, Children of the Corn. No? Sephora. Guys, have you seen all this stuff about 10 year olds at Sephora? Oh, 10 year olds at Sephora. Well, thanks for ruining the fun, Samantha. Golly. Well, that was fun. I'm not even gonna try to beat around the bush. There is a spray tan that looks so botched. I have two different skin tones going on and I don't even know how to correct that. So while I am going to be on the hunt for these 12 year olds at Sephora, I do have some questions for them because I'm in desperate need of help. Let me show you guys my setup though. I feel like I'm a very good candidate to interview these 12 year olds because I understand them. This isn't a Stanley. In my opinion, it's better. It's a Simply Modern. Do you hear that ushing gushy? That is serenity. And you can't forget the best lip balm ever. I know the 10 year olds go crazy for this too. It's that road. Peptide lip treatment. Mm. Mm-hmm. This video is gonna be quite easy because it's a Saturday, it is 2 p.m. and I live in Los Angeles. I'm gonna start with the Sephora's closest to me and we're just gonna make our way around. I was really thinking about who is getting this first-hand experience of these cray-cray girls in the drunk elephant section of Sephora and then it dawned on me that I could be getting that experience if I inserted myself into the situation. <laughs> This is a standalone store, so I'm expecting it to be a more mature demographic. Or will it be? Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I'll find them right off the bat. I'm overstimulated. First, we need to find oh, skincare. Here it is. I have heard horror stories about the testers. Thankfully, this store does not seem to get the worst of it. Although I would not use it personally. I'm sorry, girl. Who? I haven't even looked at the prices yet. I don't know how to feel about spending $82 on something. Literally for my face. I'm gonna hold off for now. I am gonna restock on one little thing. Random question, but you guys one of the stores that has the problem with the 10-year-olds? You know what? Sometimes. They oh, you do? Go. They like, have I encountered any today? Yeah, a couple. Yeah, I can't believe I asked that. I love that I am now double fisting in lip balm. Oh my god, look at it flow out. Oh my gosh. Let me have a sip of my stand. Take me to Sephora. I think I'm ready to take on a mall. This is ironic. I found a Claire's. Think of all the goodies they got. Squishmallows, ear piercings that are fake or real. And this is where they're going instead. It's actually so funny because my first memory of a Sephora was with all of my middle school friends. I was 12 and petrified of all the makeup. It was my first time getting asked if I wanted some. This is me pretending to look at makeup because I'm overstimulated. Mmm, get the glow. Yeah. Yes, you have that highlighter. Okay, maybe not. I'm like slowly making my way to the drunk elephant section. The glossier testers are not looking too hot. I was told I'm not allowed to record in here. Tragic. It kind of just makes me want to go to another one. You know the vibes? I can't cue music because I don't go on my phone when I'm driving. So I've been listening to Yes And by Ariana Grande this entire video. I know every lyric and this thing came out last week. This is in a giant strip mall, and I had to fight for this parking spot. Woohoo! I found out what I'm looking for when it comes to skincare. I want a preppy routine. No idea what that means. I saw it on Google. They're here. Guys, I'm freaking out. Do I ask them a question? Could you recommend some products That's to me? Oh, so you know your stuff. You mix the bronzy drops with what? The moisturizer. Oh, I love it. Glowing, right? This spinach, oh. uh, the kale green. Thank you guys, You're I appreciate welcome. it. Basically, I'm like trying to figure out this whole 10 year old taking over Sephora thing. It's the hype of the packaging. And I've heard about people asking for retinol yes. that are 10. And as an esthetician, I'm just like, I'm gonna see them in like about 15 years. Yeah. Did I just have the best experience at any Sephora I've ever been to? Yes. And I got a preppy skincare. This is me. After going to Sephora and spending $140 on three products, I'm putting a lot of faith in you 10 year olds. Sunset drives are my favorite in the world, except when you're going straight into the sun and you can barely see. That's the only negative. Oh, they got me going in the parking garage, okay. I'm the type of petty that I will wait for the good parking spot in a garage to open up. I've been sitting here for five minutes waiting for this guy to leave. Wait, I want to see if I can be aesthetic. When I see your face, the whole world stops and sprays you with mace. This next location involved me to pay for parking. Yeah, it's one of those nice malls. I forgot there's a cupcake ATM. Do I be raunchy? I'm gonna get a sprinkle. Can I get a picture? Of course you can. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Oh my god, my cupcake's ready. Me trying to find a spot to eat my cupcake. I think I'm just gonna eat it by the water. It's a little wet. Do you guys see that? This is my reward to myself for breathing air today. There's a girl whipping in front of me. Mm. Okay, they did not hold back on the sprinkles. Mm. Wait, why is the water fountain so aesthetic? Almost as aesthetic as my sprinkle cupcake. I wish everybody in life can experience what I just experienced, and I'm sad it's over. Wait, is there a wet spot on my pants? I, I don't care enough. Now the hard part is to find Sephora. I don't know the geography of this place. I, I found Gucci. Yeah, I don't think 10 year olds are gonna be in there. She's a big store. Deep breaths, you got this Carter Manifest. I've decided I'm gonna look for the Sol de Janeiro here. Hi, oh. are you with the brand? I was just doing a review actually for my YouTube channel. Let me get a clearance on that one. Do your thing and don't forget to shout a So I'm at the Sephora in the Americana and I'm reviewing the Sol de Janeiro brand. 
Don't ask, guys. I'm just role-playing. Please go with it. Let's start here. The Brazilian Crush. I actually have no idea what it smells like. <laughs> that is all over my lips. Oh, after reading it, it does say body spray. Waft in that goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The hype around this product is starting to be understood by myself. Let me find the tester of this one. I'm gonna try to use it, but there isn't really a cap. I feel like a fraud. I'm really just here to find 10 year olds. After having full access to this entire section, I think my takeaway is that this spray, the number 40, is the one I would rate take home to mom. Yes. This is what preppy is. They literally have people holding up the store for me. I'm done filming. Yeah, thank you. One of my biggest regrets in life was never applying to work at a Sephora. I swear, everyone that works here has amazing skin. Guys, I just <laughs> ran into Kaylin. Show what you got. I got these are my two best friends. And guess what I got? The exact same ones, but bigger. This whole video is me trying to find 10 year olds in Sephora. Oh, I am 10. Are you actually 10? Yeah. I am just now starting my whole like skincare routine. I'm gonna smell like a butterfly. That's my goal. Can I ask you for a picture of the furniture store? Of course you can. Okay. <laughs> yeah, of course you can. Do you mind taking a Oh my god, girl, happy birthday. Let's do a photo. What is happening? I was just treated like Sephora royalty. For someone who does no skincare, no makeup, that was a really weird role play. Do you have a pen? No. I can give you an air signature. That's the best I can do. Sure. Did you get it? Awesome. I don't know how to act sometimes. So I just got back with all my goodies. She's so jealous I didn't buy any for her. The grand total did come out to be just over $300. It starts in my toes and I crinkle my nose. With my green tea face wash. It came with a detached pumper. That seems bougie to me. This is where things get preppy. They had three different styles of drops on display, but they were each $55. I decided to just get one. Oh, oh, oh. Did not mean to do that. That's $5 down the drain. This is Drunk Elephant's Polypeptide Cream. I bought the refill pod. I just bought the filling. The finale is this Tatcha Indigo Overnight Cream. Let me shower and let's do my preppy skincare routine. Not Domino's Ranch. I can't get past it. I don't know why I'm gripping it. I do feel euthanized. I don't know if that's the right word. Oh, I feel so baby. I smell like a Brazilian princess. Okay, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna go look at myself on Snapchat. My complexion has never looked cleaner. Thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon. Because I post a lot.